Hi guys, hope you guys are doing great. The question that I am asking today is that can we count on the calorie counting approach? So guys, as soon as we think about starting our health and fitness journey, somewhere or the other, this thought comes into our mind that how much calories we need to have, what is the calorie deficit that we need to create, etc, etc, etc. But I am trying to question this approach that does just calorie counting is good enough and is it the best way to move forward. So as I said I have an apple in, the, in my hand and if I talk about this apple, this apple will have about say 50 to 60 calories as per the charts available and a 30 ml alcohol glass will also have the similar number of calories. Now if we go only by the calorie counting approach then do you think we can substitute this apple with the 30 ml alcohol? I mean obviously the, uh, the obvious answer will come no because I have taken a very extreme example that an apple cannot be compared to uh, alcohol even if the calories are same. But then this is clear because this is a very extreme example. But similar is the thing uh, when we are taking not such extreme examples but examples which are having a similar tendency where the calorie count may be the same but the nutritional value may be absolutely different. So in case of an apple and an alcohol, alcohol is not only about calories, it will go inside and disturb the hormonal system and will uh, create a lot of toxins inside the body and will make us overall unhealthy and it is not only about calories. Whereas an apple will go inside our body and it is full of nutrition and it will give us a lot of nutritional value and good health to us. So same may be a comparison between a banana and a burger or other such items you know. So is calorie counting good enough in such cases? Then let's take another example of the same apple. Now if a person choose the apple properly versus a person who does not chew the apple properly, do you think although the apple is same and the calorie count is same, do you think that that apple will go inside and have the same impact uh, as far as the energy release is concerned and the digestion is concerned? Again I think the obvious answer what everybody would say is no because most of us know that our dig digestion starts from our mouth only and the better we chew the food and the more saliva our food gets the better and the easier is the digestion and the nutritional value can be absorbed is much higher uh, compared to what when we do not chew the food properly. So the same apple with the same amount of calories if chewed properly and if not chewed properly can have a different impact right. So again does calorie counting help in such a situation. Let us take one more example of the same, ap uh, same apple. If we have this apple at night say when we are night binging so when we, if this if we have this apple at that time or if we have this apple in our breakfast in the morning time do you think the same apple with the same amount of calories will go inside our body and do the same, the same thing and behave in the same way again the answer obvious answer is no because at night our digestion system is at rest it is not supposed to be functioning at its optimum level and at an efficient level so whatever we have at that time cannot be the same uh, as to what we are having in the morning when our digestion system is fully active it's just like asking you to go uh, for a boxing match or go for a run late at night after dinner when you are already tired Similarly, if you are tired, your digestion system is also tired and it needs rest. Uh, whereas if we try to put in stuff and put it into action, then it will not work efficiently. So obviously the nutritional absorption and the digestion will not be as good as it can be in the morning. So then does the calorie counting approach work? So guys, this is these are some examples of how calorie counting does not help us and we cannot count upon the calorie, the calorie counting approach. The calorie counting approach is 
applicable in very specific cases such as people who are you know competing in uh, competitions in sports and athlete athletic competitions where maybe every calorie is important for their overall body structure and performance it's important in case of medical treatments where uh, there are other issues and each calorie might be important so in those situations the calorie counting approach is uh, important it may be also important for people who are morbidly obese and for them also each and every calorie count is important but for most of us for people like you and me for a common man like you and me who just want to gain their health and fitness back <clears throat> and want to pursue a healthy lifestyle for most of us the calorie counting approach is 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 not the best way to go forward is what i feel what we need to do is develop good eating habits such as eating raw seasonal and uh, local food uh, have food on time on fixed times have your food along with the circadian rhythm following the circadian cycle chew your food properly and and so on and so forth so if we develop good eating habits we need not really go on the calorie counting spree and if we listen to our body we our body will tell us when to eat rather how much to eat and when to stop only if we pay a little bit of attention to our to the signals which the body gives we will be able to identify so guys that was my take that instead of counting on the calorie counting approach let us count on our body let's count on good eating habits and that will definitely give us far better uh, health and fitness rather than counting on the calories all the time great guys thanks a lot for listening and till we meet again be healthy be happy and be safe thank you so much